let's look at the new X Sheet Metal app for the 3D Experience platform. This angle bracket and base plate are going to be pretty expensive to manufacture. So we're going to go ahead and try to make this into a sheet metal component instead. Grabbing the bottom face of this base plate will give us a sketch needed to begin our sheet metal part. We don't need those holes because that bracket's going to become part of the sheet metal component. Putting our first feature in, we'll look at the standard sheet metal functionality that we need with thickness, bend radius, and relief, and then we'll accept that command. We want to be able to have this saw slide very smoothly across parts, so we're going to bend up that edge there on the front using a sketch as our base for bending. Selecting the sketch in a bent point. We can then put in the angle at which we want that, that bend to go up at 150 degrees and we're on our way. We're going to pull some walls or some edge flanges depending on what functionality you're used to calling it. We'll go ahead and tell it the material to the inside there and we'll accept that. Remember, we're doing this all in a web browser. We're going to have a flange that's going to have to be bent up here in a moment. So we need to add a clearance area for that flange to be bent up. So we're going to make a cut here, taking away some material. Then we're going to go ahead and grab that angle bracket and borrow some geometry off that. Grabbing the back face, we can then convert that geometry into a sketch. We'll get rid of that extra geometry there on the bottom, joining the two endpoints. Just a single click there with my context sensitive toolbar, and we've got a closed sketch. That, that sketch does not have to be perfectly on that edge to start that flange. We'll go ahead, pick that sketch, pick, pick that edge, and we've got everything that we need to finish that feature off. Change the reliefs there so it fits in better. Maybe tighten the bend radius a little bit. And let's go ahead and do a check. We'll unfold the part and see if there's any interferences, which there is. So that flange does interfere with the part right there. Do a quick measurement. Looks like we got about 16 and a quarter millimeters. So we'll extend out that cutout that we did by 20 millimeters. Do that check once again. Looks like we got plenty of clearance there. And now we've been able to substitute a nice sheet metal part very quickly all inside of a web browser.